city ever feels like this. <laughs> well, welcome to the first annual live thing for what? It's a special rockabilly spectacular, and of course with 60 Cycle Hum starting off. They're not really rockabilly, but damn it! If they were, they'd be just as good. Anyway, yeah, he doesn't know what he's saying. Yeah! 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 So anyway, it's going to be a great show. Thanks for tuning in to like about a year's worth of what? I, and I know you're all big fans. Whoa, yeah, aha, uh -huh. children of metal. So anyway, I'd now like to bring on the pop explosion that is 60 Cycle Hum. Sounds called the spooky side of sexy. <laughs> It's Brian, it's Daryl, it's Ken, it's Jim. Or it's Jim, it's Ken, it's Daryl, it's Brian. Hey man, that's why I make the big money. Okay, so uh, who wants to talk? Who wants to tell me a little bit about the beginning of 60 Cycle Hum? Brian. Hey, two years ago, we started in a dusty basement and um, well, we, uh, we called Jim. He didn't want to play with us at that time. He joined Neo Mort instead. And, uh, <laughs> and Daryl was in prison. And got him out of home take him. Hence the tattoos. Hence the tattoos. Yeah, most of these, most of these aren't jailhouse tattoos. <laughs> Actually, while we're here, can we, uh, can we get a close-up on uh, the tattoos? Yeah. yeah. You, 
Wow, and you've got like a little scarification kind of thing. Oh, yeah. In the Rolling Stones like thing, in the scarification. That didn't look fun. It hurt it. So it was, a, it was a painful experience for you. Yes. Like <laughs> hey man, watch it or I'll get into modern primitive questions, okay? Describe the sound, Jim. It's that zany, kooky, kooky, zany, kind of kicky thing and C kind of thing. That's great. Kent, you want to explain the sound? Uh, well, I would say it's, yeah, a new country. You ever heard Susie Boggess? You know, one of my favorite parts of these interviews is when the band just kind of rambles on about nonsensical things and you at home are forced to sort through it. Ooh. You can always talk about the time I got knocked out at White Castles. Legalize marijuana and buy our CDs. Buy one copy, buy two copy, buy three copies of our CD. Give them to all your friends and come to our shows. See you soon. <laughs> yeah, that'll get on the air. <laughs> so anyway, the band 60 Cycle Hum, you got, a, you got a disc, what's the disc name? Real quick, 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 go. That would be Bad Dream Date. Bad Dream Date on Prospective Records. Um, look for it in a record store near you. Thanks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for 60 Cycle Hum. Yeah, 60 cycle hum. Okay, and now, now we've got something pretty excellent for you. We've got uh, one of the finest rockabilly combos happening in the Twin Cities metro area today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you the band called Speedway. Give it up for them. Yeah.
we're sitting here with Speedway. Tom, Georgia, and Jeff. See, I remember that time. I'm there for you. So uh, when did you guys start? When did we start? We formed uh, about the end of July 93. So you've been around a short time. Relatively. Always been into rockabilly? Mm -hmm. Always been into rock and roll. You know, since I was about 10 years old, I saw Elvis on TV, and that was it. OK. If there was a fight between Carl Perkins and Little Richard, who'd win? Little Richards would wipe the floor. Little Richard would wipe the floor with Carl Perkins' face. As much as I love Carl Perkins, Little Richard is the man. It's true. Okay, you've won my respect. Um, so you guys have a record out coming out, correct? Correct. Hey, that's so exciting. Tell me a little bit about it. Oh, will you? It's a split seven inch with a band called Dirt Poor. Dirt Poor. They're excellent, and it's on Mustard Music. And when's it gonna be out, Tom? Out, should be about out um, probably the middle of May. Sometime in May, or about the time that this comes out. So go to your local record store, buy this single, please. They need the money. Yeah, I think so. I know, I broke your little secret, but that's okay. Because, you know, with dirt ports. We're close, and that's showbiz. Hey, I'm so there for you. Yeah. Okay, so you, oh, and uh, say you guys have a demo tape out. Absolutely. In the meantime, we got this nifty cassette. There's seven songs on it. Only two bucks. Seven songs, two bucks. Wow, that's only pennies a song. Get in touch with us through the show. Yeah, right. <laughs> I thought I'd give it a shot. Where else can people buy it? Um, from, from the band at a show just about every time. And um, we're not sure what stores yet. Just keep looking. So eventually somewhere, find it, buy it, please. They need the money. I used that, didn't I? Damn. Oh, well. Anyway, you got you had like two seconds of fame here, okay, man? Jeff, say something. Say something to the universe. Say something to the youth of America. Go. I'd like to say hi. Time's up. Thanks. Okay. okay.
strangers in the night. Here's another uh, new selection. This one's called uh, 99 Years to Life.
Well, it's 1.15, and the first annual What Live show at the Red Eye is now, is now over. It is no, 1.15. It's 1.10-ish. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's now 1.10-ish, and, uh, ish, and we're done. And, and we got to end it off with the Viber Champs, one of, one of our all-time faves. Right, guys? Yeah. Thank See, you, Chris. There's Thanks. nothing for there to our, agree to. Our, our all-time faves? Well, Putting for us. Chaz and Don. All our wonderful what crew people. Chad. 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 Chad, thank you very much. Chad. Uh, Chaz. Don. Thank you very much. Everybody. Thanks. And thanks to the fine folks at Red Eye for uh, putting up this space. Steve, Miriam, and John. Thanks. You guys are the swellest. Especially, especially the Red Eye. Dino. This has been, we've never seen this place up to tonight. We love it. We want to play here more and more. Mucho. You bet. And on that happy note, we thus conclude this episode of What? Thanks for watching. See you next time.